Control systems. So control systems, block diagrams. What about block diagram? We like them, we hate them. They're easy, right? Closed loop, open loop. So classic and negative feedback control system. I told you guys that do that derivation. I've done it for you in the on demand. And that came up several times when we were doing the live training. So let's call it easy. Controller performance, um, steady state error. If you use a final value theorem, easy. If you want to use that table, difficult. Settling time overshoot. How do you guys want to rate this? Okay, let's call it medium. I think it's easy stuff, to be quite honest. Once you have put the given second order control system or the first order control system in the standard form, it, it's not too difficult to figure out what's going on and isolate those parameters and then comment on what is the peak time and this time and that time. Anyways, let's call it medium. Body plots, right? We had a lot of detailed discussion and some of you reached out to me that, hey, in the on-demand, there's no practice problem or very little practice problems for body plots. So I'm going to be working on that. But uh, we we went through several practice problems in live training. So this is, let's call it medium. So as you can see, this is sort of half and half split between um, uh, easy and medium. Now, what makes it interesting is that this is not quite a big five topic. It's one of those rare topics which is a little bit more towards the heavy deviated, but not quite as much. So when you compare it on the lower end, so at the high end of controls is nine questions and the low end of power systems is eight questions. Can you see this? Can you see what I'm trying to say, right? So it is not something that can be ignored because if on, a, on an exam, they decide to throw eight questions from power systems and nine questions from control systems, then it basically means that this was actually a big five topic. You know what I mean? And you can do that comparison with math and comparison with circuits. So it's one of those rare few sections that is not quite big five, but it requires deep understanding. And I think the session we had for this was also a three hour long session, if I'm not mistaken. Right. So how do we tackle this? I would say look at it. And this is essentially where we started improvising. Remember, so you can get overwhelmed by the amount of content there is in the on-demand course. But when you look at it piece by piece, Okay, I have a second order control system and they can ask me overshoot percentage. They can ask me settling time. They can ask me peak uh, peak time and this and that. I can deal with that when I put it in standard form. Same thing for the first order control system, right? Transfer functions. I can deal with transfer functions. I can isolate the zeros and the poles and uh, create the transfer function, um, figure out the gain, right? Body plot. I can be given a transfer function, link it with a body plot. I can be given a body plot and I can link it to a transfer function, right? Uh, block diagrams reduction, right? We remember what was the knockout punch in the block diagram reduction. What are we going for? The one that gives us the greatest simplification feedback loop, right? So we move the branch points here, there, uh, multiply the stuff that is in series and all of that. And that helps us deal with block diagram. So I would say that from controls onwards is where you start, have to start looking at things in in, in uh, compartments, right? And try and start dealing with the topics in compartment. Okay? Digital systems, again, overall impression of digital systems is that is a pain in the neck, right? But when we go through it systematically, let's try and rate it as individual topic. Number systems, easy, agreed. Boolean logic, easy. Logic gates, easy. K maps, easy. Flip flops, hands down, hard, correct? State machine design, state machine design, guys. I would say it's easy. Okay, so let's call it medium. All right, I think it's easy. Uh, PLAPL, easy. Timing, yeah, let's call it medium. It can be difficult as well. Now you take a step back, see how many E's we have over here, right? We have a hard over here. Now the funny thing is, guys, when you look at the NCS sample exam, right? And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that later on. The problems that they have, of flip-flop is a piece of cake in the NCA sample exam. It's actually a very easy problem, especially after having gone through the circuits that we've gone through, little circuit, right? And I personally disagree with it, but I'm going to leave this as medium. But to be honest, I think this is an easy topic. So when you take a step back, granted, there are some overwhelming, you know, concepts, right, uh, in here. But overall, this is pretty doable. And you should put some extra time and effort in it because it is a heavy hitter on the exam, okay? And how do we do it? Compartmentalizing dealing with the easy stuff, tackling the hard topics and medium topics, okay?